Welcome back. Today I'm going to be drawing a classic Joker. So let's get started. I'm first going to start with a little dot there and move across a little and make another dot about here for his eyes and then add some kind of bent arch lines over that. We can add a little detail line here right on the sides of the dots that we made. A little bit below in the center, I'm going to draw kind of a V shape or an upside down bent line and then a curved line for the top of his mouth. And his mouth is really wide open, so we're gonna bring a curved line all the way down and back up. And then we're gonna play kind of a line inside of that for his lips, and then curved lines on the top and the bottom for his teeth. All right, let's kind of outline that area. So his chin kind of just follows the shape of his mouth, and we'll bring it up and out. As we come to the side, his cheeks kind of come out a little bit further and then we'll add his curved lines for his ears. Same thing on this side, curved line for the ear. And now we're gonna kind of go inside here and we'll come up and around for his hair. His hair kind of comes up on the sides and then drops into the middle, kind of like a V shape and back up and around. And again, same thing on this side and bring it back down to the ear. Now for his outside of his hair, we're just gonna kind of Make a curve line up, I'll make it a little kind of spiky on the side, and then up and around the top. Around the top here, maybe a little curve line. You can get creative with these lines here on the side, and we'll just round it out to this side and bring it back in toward his face. All right, for his collar, we're just gonna add a curve line that comes around, kind of like a, a curved triangle shape, and one here, bring it back in toward his chin. And we'll make a curved line that goes around for the collar there. And let's add a swoop line here for his shoulder. And I'm gonna bring a line out, kind of like a curved bent line out, and then bring it back in for his arm. And we're gonna have one of his arms is kind of on his side here, I'm kind of bending it in. And we'll come back to see where the vest is gonna be. We'll start it here and bring it down and then bring it in toward his body and then back up at a diagonal. All right, on this side, we're gonna bring his arm out to the side and then extend it up, so it's bent up and we'll cap it off here with a cuff, bring it back down at his elbow and then bring it back in toward his body. And then here's where we're gonna have his vest and bring it in. And then same thing as the other side, we're gonna bring this diagonally up toward the collar Underneath his uh, collar here, he kind of has this little tie. So I'm gonna add some lines and maybe some little strings that kind of hang down like that. All right, and inside here, we'll add his vest, which is a V shape with some buttons coming down. We'll give him three buttons, maybe some detail lines that show it's buttoned together and then some lines that curve out and in on either side and then connect it with a zigzag line in the middle, just about like that. Let's make his hand kind of resting on his hip here. I'm gonna add his collar for his uh, his sleeve and then his hand is just leaning on his, on his hip. All right, adding his hand up top here, I'm gonna kind of round it out and bring it up like he's presenting something. Okay, and we'll come back uh, down here for some, let's add a couple more detail lines here. Um, maybe like his kind of cheeks two lines like this, and a uh, line for his ear here, kind of inner line for his, his uh, detail in his ear. Maybe some lines like in his hair too, to add some more detail lines. Okay, coming down for his legs. First gonna start with this leg on this side, so I'm gonna bring a line out to the side and down and then leaving some space in the middle about the center of his body, we'll bring a line that comes down. And as it gets more toward the knee, we're gonna curve it in and back out. And this is his um, calf. And then bring these lines down. And these lines come narrow toward the ankle and we'll cap them off. All right, this leg is gonna be kind of in front. So this leg is gonna be overlapped. I'm gonna start it about here and bring a line curved in. And then from the top here, we'll swoop a line down like this. Again, his calf is gonna come out and then back in. And 
the same thing with the front of his leg. Again, narrow toward the ankle, cap it off, and we'll add where his leg shows, and then we'll add a shape for a shoe. I'm gonna just bring down a line there, bring it out kind of to a point. Same thing on this side, to a point here, and bring it back in toward his ankle. All right, so for his pants, if you want, you can add pinstripes going up his pants. We can do that later with color as well. I'm gonna add his coattail, so his coat is coming from behind him, and just maybe some lines that work like that, and bring it back in toward his leg. It goes behind him, and we can do another one on this side. I'm gonna bring a line down like this, and then bring it back in toward his leg. All right, let's start to add some color. I'm first gonna start with purple, and I'm gonna use purple for his jacket. Just gonna outline his jacket first, and then kind of fill in the space here. Going up to the cuff. Now I'm not gonna color in the cuff, I'm gonna color in the cuff a different color. So it adds some, some kind of contrast in the color. We don't want everything to be purple. And here I'm just following the contour line. So the contour line on this side kind of goes horizontally. Again, the contour line is just gonna be the, the outline of the sleeve. So as I work, I'm working horizontally here. This kind of just helps with detail and kind of the flow of, of the drawing. Okay, so working with this part of the jacket. Filling in the space for his arm on this side, and then for this part of his arm, I'll just fill that in, and then for this kind of shoulder and hair in this area. And right, I'm gonna also color in his gloves, purple. And I'm gonna come down to his pants and color those in purple as well. Just outlining the, uh, the pants first and then I'll go back and fill it in. I'm also gonna color in the, the coat tails purple. Just to speed this part up, I'm going to open up the broad part of the marker. To fill this in a little quicker. I'm going to be going to a, a yellow color for his vest. And yellow works nice for for a, kind of a contrast color because it's a complement to purple. Um, so it really makes the, 
the purple areas stand out more. Fill that in yellow, and then I'm gonna use a green, and I'm gonna color in the cuffs here. And also his shirt, along with his collar. I'm also going to come up here and fill in uh, his hair with green. Being careful not to get the green onto his, uh, his face because we want to leave that uh, white. I'm going to open up a, a red here and just kind of outline, carefully outline his, his lips. Okay, and we'll fill in the inside of his mouth right in the center here with black. And his shoes, I'm going to come down here and fill in his shoes black. Just going back through here and a little bit of kind of contrast color, broaden up these these lines to differentiate the uh, coattails from the pants. Kind of makes it stand out a little bit. I'll fill in the buttons black as well. And let's give it kind of a little detail line for his kind of his collar here for his jacket. Some detail lines for his coattails. And again, if you want to add pinstripes, you can just kind of bring up some, some lines along his pants, which looks kind of cool. And it adds a little detail. Again, just follow the contour line of the pants, which is the outside lines um, that we, we started our drawing with. And we'll just outline his cuffs a little bit more. And that's going to finish up our drawing of Joker. I hope you guys really enjoy this one. It's a lot of fun to draw. Give him a try. Bye.